Well, it was a busy shopping weekend, but one local bike shop had to go th get through it without a cash register after a thief took it. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Mark Taylor. And I'm Darlene Hill. The crime is in slowing down their mission of helping people all in need. NBC4 Sean Lanier has more on what happened. Bikes for All People is a shop that tries to help the community, especially children with affordable bikes. But early Saturday morning, someone came into the shop and took items that didn't belong to them. It happening over a holiday weekend when, you know, the shop was closed a little bit, so there was some downtime for staff and having to come in and deal with that kind of stuff is just... Yeah, it's just frustrating. Ed Miner doesn't understand why someone would break into the shop and try to ruin what they're doing. He thanks the officers who responded quickly to his security alarm. The thieves only got away with our cash register um, and a couple of a couple of used bikes. And one of the bikes they stole was a child-sized bike that could have been given away for free. He says they could only accept cash for this small business Saturday, an obstacle this shop overcame. We were still able to be open and at almost full capacity. Miner says when adversity like this happens, he has to remember why this bike shop is here. We started this with the intent of providing affordable, uh, accessible and reliable services to people in this neighborhood, many of whom use bicycle as their sole means of transportation. They also hold classes here to teach others how to fix their bikes, and if you don't have time for the class, they'll fix your bike for you. While understanding the needs of the community they serve. The labor for our repairs is done on a sliding scale honor system. You pay what you can afford. It's a mission that helps Miner keep things in perspective, but he adds the timing of this is what hurts the most. You no, know, it's one more headache that you have to try to deal with. He says he plans to have a new cash register here, hopefully by today or early Tuesday. Local for you in Columbus, Sean Lanier, NBC4.